Salam guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Ramadan day five. Uh, so far we filmed day one and day three. So if you guys haven't seen those yet, make sure you check out the previous two. So right now we're just going to clean the house. Jasmine, of course, isn't wearing a hijab. Jasmine! Hi. Did you guys hear that? She said hi. So can you say welcome back to another video? <laughs> yeah, so we're just right now cleaning the house, tidying it up. We were thinking maybe to invite friends over for dessert or something. So obviously the house has to be clean when they come. I want to show you guys our little friend outside. Uh, she's just chilling. It's been literally like almost two. Jasmine, it's been two weeks since the bird's been outside or? Like a week and a half. A week and a half. So let me show you guys. She's actually let a little poop on this balcony, which I do not want to happen. Did she poop? Yeah, I don't know if it's her that pooped or someone else came in and pooped. So I don't want to open the door because she's going to fly away and she's going to freak out and go away. But she always ends up coming back anyways. But this is her. She's just chilling. I think she sees me. Like, look at that. She's definitely staring at me. And then, yeah, there's someone else that left poop on the balcony. But yeah, she's so cute. I don't want her here, but it is what it is. There's one thing that sucks about eating at home during Ramadan is the amount of dishes that there is after you finish. Like me and Jasmine, we're literally cleaning up as we're cooking and we're doing the dishes and then there were still dishes after and there's still so many dishes. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Jasmine's also filming a video at the moment and she is gonna help me clean as well. You know what? This is not that bad. I think that's a good idea. Great advice is to do the dishes as you're cooking so there's not that much after. Well, 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 look who it is. It's Jasmine Ferris. What's up, guys? Oh. Welcome back to another vlog. Did you already do that? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. Yeah, oh. I did. Well, then there's no purpose for me in the videos anymore. How come you're bobbing your head like that? Because I'm feeling like How do you even do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys know that we're constantly working 24-7. I just wanted to show you guys like what we do when we're basically planning the new colors for our hijabs. Everything is custom made, including down to the colors and the making of like the dyes. Everything is exclusive to our collection. Like we make it all for ourselves and our company. Um, so right here I have all the custom dyed Modal jersey under cap colors. And then I have the custom dyed chiffons. And we are basically trying to figure out like what uh, colors, there's a few options of each dye to make sure that it's like the closest match as possible. And then if it's not a close match, we have a pile over here that has to go into the redying process. So that's a whole other few weeks to go through. But alhamdulillah, we found some amazing colors that really worked out and we're excited it's, to launch them soon. It's not an easy process, guys. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely not an easy process. It's almost like you, you're, you're literally going to lose your hair with the amount of like this is this work. is like the fifth fifth sample of us yes. going to through this and, and even some of them are not like 100 percent, and i'll have to revise them slightly but at least we found some yeah. that you know are gonna work and like our first collection um it we only made four colors because it took so long and yes. we just want to launch the matching hijabs yeah like you'll see like for example this there's two jersey colors that look almost identical, but in different lighting, natural and not natural lighting, you'll see a difference. And that's something that we have to pay attention to before we release them. And that's why I think we have the best matching hijab sets in the market because everything is perfected like with to my the color, OCD. With Jasmine's <laughs> OCD. I realized I was wearing my abaya inside out earlier. <laughs> Awkward. I, I almost let her leave the house like that. <laughs> um, but we're going to Festival City right now, the mall. It's near us and I'm going abaya shopping. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is literally to walk into a mall and find affordable abayas. I know there are a lot of like markets and all that kind of stuff for abayas in Dubai and Sharjah and all that. But honestly, there's a mall right beside me and it's pretty affordable. So we're gonna go there and see what kind of abayas we can find. Cause that's literally what I've been living in recently. And uh, we didn't mention that we have friends coming over tonight. Yes, we do. Yeah, after Iftar, we have some friends coming we over. We actually have friends have in friends, Dubai. Um, so I'll show you guys what we end up doing. <laughs> Might walk around the area, see the Ramadan decor at night in the area, it's nice. We're, we're going to this mall and then we're going to a different mall a different mall to show you guys the decor because i feel like in this vlog i really want to show you guys like the vibes that we're experiencing for ramadan so far um we haven't hit the mall recently during ramadan especially mall of emirates we haven't been there yet so we want to see what kind of decor they're doing and what kind of vibe there is for ramadan so we'll show you guys and ramadan in dubai is awesome 
Yeah, I think Ramadan in the Middle East in general is just so I know, nice. we always say like, whoa, we're in the Middle East. Like, know, we're it's not, crazy. Like, it's catered to us yeah. Muslims. It's, we're not the foreigners anymore. We're not the foreigners. There's no, <laughs> if anyone watched my, uh, what's it called, my reel about like questions we get asked during Ramadan, not even water Those or anything Those don't like exist that. here. That doesn't exist here. <laughs> so it was not relatable. Like everyone has to, it's really crazy. Like all the white people and the Christians and the non-Muslims basically, they have to cater to us. We don't have to cater to them. You know yeah, what like I mean? Even like even opening it's, hours are different. And it's like, completely opposite to when you live in the West. So it's very, very refreshing. Alhamdulillah. And we get to break our fast so much Early. earlier. Like we were thinking about going to Canada to visit our family and then like, the first day of Ramadan happened like hell we no. We realized, yeah, we realized we have to fast another hour and a half extra, so we were like, yeah, never mind. <laughs> this thing she does is finds an abaye place and she shopping for some. Yeah. Abayas are like my happy place. Bro, I think you look so good in abayas, and I love how like simple it is for you. I know, it's so easy to wear. Jasmine. Um, it's kind of big. It's like the. Looks like you're gonna be a speaker at a majlis. Yeah, no, it's too big. It's nice, but it's not. No, it's not. The other one? Yeah, the other one's nice. How do we feel about oh, this one? The mirror cracked. <laughs> Just kidding. This one's nicer. How do you feel? I like it, but the but. arms are not as like flared, they're like more straight cut. So if you don't like it, then don't get it. Thank you, Mr. Price. <laughs> Buy a place number two. Jasmine, this one's a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit more pricey, but the quality is a lot better. Yes. Let me what? see. I'm just taking a look. <laughs> Jasmine, I really like this one. I know that one's really nice. Try it on. I don't know what I would wear underneath. Um, wear any, what do you wear underneath Abaya's? It's usually this slip dress. What if you don't have a slip dress? Are you going to make it? <laughs> Another option. So this one actually fully closes, which I like. Like I feel like it'd be easier to throw on and just leave. So what do we think? This one or the granny vibes one? I don't know. I don't know. I like the one you originally are wearing. Because it's already bought in. Bought in? Yeah. <laughs> And this is the third Abaya place that she's checking. I like this place. They're cheap, but like their quality is like medium. Yeah, the one you're wearing from here, yeah, right? Yeah, I got this one from here. How much you get for called? like 50 this bucks? Yeah. This one's called Zam Abaya, Zam Abaya. in yeah, Festival yeah. City. Picked out three for Jasmine to try on. Jasmine? Yeah. Try it on. Let's see my taste. Okay. Got it. That's nice. Good luck. Turn around. Wait. Turn around. I'm still buckling it. <laughs> it's nice. I could tell it's already nice. Oh, it's nice. nice. Yeah. It looks like a dress. Yeah, it's nice. There's open up and there's closed. What's the price of this? I mean, we're gonna haggle our way through, so I don't know. We'll see if we can get it for cheap. Yeah, this guy hasn't even helped us once yet. <laughs> he better give it to us for cheap. This is Abaya number two. How do I feel? Yeah, hey, how do you feel in that? I like it, it's nice. Which one did you like more, number one or number two? You know what? Maybe number one. Yeah. 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 You know what? The the lines with the different different colors that's happening kind of. I don't know. Kind of looks like connect the dots. Let's try the third one. Yes. This is Abaya number four that I didn't pick out. She picked out. I think out. I like this the most. I like the first one the best. It's very like minimal. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Design. More me. Yeah, I like the first one though a lot. Okay, we'll compare the first one. I'm bored, let's hurry up and go. You need to waste time. I know, but so still, I'm just standing time. there. I want to walk around. Okay, okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> we finally got one. 
And it I was, ended up going with the last one I tried on. I yeah, felt like it wasn't it was the one I picked. Me. And it was only 130 dirhams, which is like $40. All right, so now that we're done Abaya shopping, I am starving and I'm actually not fasting today. It's a little bit of a long story that we're probably gonna talk about when we're ready. So I came to Burger King and I feel bad for the wood. I'm totally used to people eating in front of me during Ramadan because I used to work at a restaurant. True. And I'm so, so used to it. I still don't like doing that though, but I'm just, I need to eat like. It's important. It's important. <laughs> oh, and before people start saying I'm pregnant, I'm not pregnant, okay? Thanks. It's a small example of the decor that you'll find in like local malls. How cute is that? Everything is Ramadan inspired. All right, so we just got to the Mall of Emirates. And I'm officially feeling the fasting today. Uh, as you noticed before, it was like as soon as I woke up, and now I'm feeling it like almost time for iftar time. Yeah, but you did good today. So. I did, I just realized. But you feel uh, really good, right? Yeah. Good for you, you're so lucky. Yeah, I'm so lucky. Okay, so we literally just walked in, and you already see all the beautiful Ramadan inspired decor. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more going on in the mall, but this is just what we saw as soon as we walked in. How nice is this? Just forget about the decor. Like, look at the Dior store in the middle of the mall. I know. Like, horrible. like how much time and money do they put into something like this that's only temporary? Right? It's crazy. 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 Jasmine, this is the craziest supermarket ever. How do we always end up at the grocery store? Yeah, but people are coming over, so we're like grabbing a few snacks and stuff. Guys, this is the biggest car food I've ever seen. It's ginormous and it's in the Mall of Emirates. How crazy is this? So many people. <laughs> he made me drive in traffic for 35 minutes while I'm fasting to get these. These. Akadunyas. And then she asked about these. They're so expensive. They're so expensive for like a handful. You want? Okay, smart decision. Time to go home. Oh my god, she took me all the way here. I just showed you just that little bit of Akadunya. Then I'm like, hey, let's Why get... Why do you say it like that? What? Say it. Akadunya. Akadunya? What is it It's pronounced? Akadunya. 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 Thank you. Anyways. Anyways, we drove all the way here for just that okay, little simple hold up. thing. This fruit, I think it's called Lukait or Lukait fruit whatever it only comes once a year this is its season so i crave it obviously when it's its season i need to get I it know, or else but it's gonna i drove be so far while i'm why fasting am I living, you're not fasting why, why am i living in the middle east if i can't enjoy the middle eastern fruits okay we'll come here when we're around not i'm like you're the one who said from. yes i said yes because happy wife happy life and now you're not making me happy anymore you're complaining i got you it so i'm good we just got home and it's actually iftar time in two minutes. And I actually just want to show you guys our Ramadan decorations in our house that Jasmine did. It's very simple, easy, and it gives such a nice vibe in the house. So I'm just going to turn off the lights so you can see it. We got some lanterns here. You know, another lantern there. We got, you know, the lan mini lanterns right here. And then we got these things here, which is cute. I got my laptop, ignore that. And then we got this thing that's filling up the room with brightness. How cute, it's so nice. It gives it such a nice vibe in the house. And then this is my meal prep that I'm having today. What's for Futur uh, by a brand called Kahlo. This is not an ad, this is just me showing you guys what I'm eating. And they bring food to my house daily. Um, so one of the meals is baked fish with za'atar roasted potatoes, nice. And then, I got a buffalo chicken sandwich. Ooh, that's what I'm having for a star. Buffalo chicken sandwich. But like, it's nice. It tells you how many calories it is, how many proteins, carbs, fats, you know, and then same thing with the other one. Aw, with having his iftar all alone. Lone wolf today because you had Burger King in front of me. How's it feel? How many times have I fasted throughout the year and you just like munch on food in front of me? All the time. Yeah, but that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but that looks good. What is that? It's a buffalo chicken sandwich. Nice. Yeah, it's really good. Um, we have friends coming over soon. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. 
Yeah, but I'm happy we made cool friends in Dubai. I feel like you say that every time we see our friends. What? You say that you're happy that we have friends, like we don't have friends. <laughs> well, like, we came to a whole new country and stuff, so like, it's kind of... You're pretty proud that we made some friends. Yeah. yeah. Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have all the junk food. This is where everyone's going to get fat tonight. Mahmoud, what's up? <laughs> nice creepy face. <laughs> And then there's Dawood over there. Show him what you got. I'm making the jar coffee from Lebanon with cardamom. And, and we have knefe. Someone brought knefe. Who brought the knefe? Reem. Thank you, Reem. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice looking knefe. That is a nice looking knefe. We're getting <laughs> fat tonight. Sheikh Khalid. Sheikh Khalid. This is my friend. He's a uh, top G. Andrew Tate. Haram! <laughs> Having uh, nafa, he made it himself. No, bro, I didn't make it myself. Okay. Oh, I'm not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for keeping up with our Ramadan vlogs. We're trying our best to film as many as we can this month, inshallah. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you love it, and we'll see you guys in the next video.